Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, I'm going to be watching anime for the first time ever. So let's get started. Oh, and don't worry guys, I'm also going to be reviewing the pops from those episodes at the end of the video, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so for today's episode, and I kind of want to turn this into maybe a series if you guys would like to see it, and it's still a working title, but something along the lines of Top Pops watches anime for the first time ever. I don't know, I'm going to work on this, but I really do want to do this because so many of you guys have bombarded me with messages saying that I need to watch anime because whenever I go to stores and I see anime figures from whatever it is, whether it be Cowboy Bebop, My Hero Academia, Naruto, I don't really know much about any of them because I've never seen any of it. So today, for the first episode, we're going to be watching My Hero Academia at least the first three episodes to see if I enjoy it and I'll give you guys a bit of a review and then we'll come back and review whatever pops that Noah has that fit in those episodes. So let me go grab some snacks, turn on Funimations in the front room and see if I enjoy this. <laughs> everyone so we are done watching the first three episodes and that was amazing I can't believe how cool it was all right guys so let me calm down here a little bit but I mean seriously a lot of you guys were recommending that I watch my hero first and those first three episodes were really really crazy like there was a lot going on I don't know if I got every single detail but I tried my best and then right at the part in the show where Azuku was about to take his exam after training with All Might for almost a year so I'm definitely gonna have to watch episode four when I get home because it was a bit of a cliffhanger on episode three and yeah yeah, I really want to see what happens. And as you guys probably know, I don't own any My Hero Academia figures. Like, I may have got one here or there in a mystery box. And the ones that I do have is All for One as well as Endeavor. And I don't know anything about either of these because I haven't gotten to this part in the show. But they really do look neat. And I'm definitely excited to run into them later on. But now looking at the back here, I do see Izuku. And then I think that's it. I don't see anybody else that I've run into yet. And then on this one, we do have All Might Teacher. And then we also have Silver Age All Might. And then, of course, a couple other that I don't really know, uh, like Momo, and then, of course, there's Izuku in his suit, so it will be really cool to find out more about them in the future, and I'm definitely gonna have to get the UA High School with Deku as soon as that one releases. Or I don't really keep up with anime pops. It might be out now. I'm gonna have to check on that. And I'm looking at Izuku on the back of the box here, and it looks like he is holding his journal, possibly his 13th one, his newest one, so I really wanna get that one because that was pretty cool, and I know I've only watched three episodes, but I feel like this could be a problem now. Like, I I know Bearded Pop Hunter has all of the My Hero Funko Pops. Nah, he wouldn't sell them. I know he was selling his ad icons, but I doubt he would sell these ones. And I hope this does not open up the floodgates for me wanting a thousand more Funko Pops, but it's definitely going to. And also, I don't want to just show you figures that I haven't talked about before, so let's go find Noah so we can get some of his figures to show off today. Noah, I need a couple pops from you. Can I, can I get them? Yeah. Alrighty, so we've got, I uh, can't do Stain. I don't know who that is. Nedry. Spicy oodles, All Might. Okay, I know All Might. Ooh, the signed one. No, do you have any more that I can use? Yeah, over there. And it looks like, aha, uh -huh, we have Deku. Now, I don't know him in this suit, but we'll take it. What episode is this? Where is it? <laughs> 840? Yeah, no. This one? <sighs> All right, thanks for the pops, Noah. Okay. All right, everyone, so it looks like he only had two figures, and I don't really know either of them in these outfits. Like, I kind of know Deku Battle, but not really, because I only know Deku, and then for All Might, I haven't seen him wearing this suit in the show yet. But it still looks really great, and this one here was signed by Chris Sabat, and I got this one in a mystery box a little while ago. On the front here, it does say United States of Smash, and I haven't heard him say that specifically, but I did hear him say Texas Smash, and I believe that was in the first or second episode. It definitely wasn't the third one, but I think it might have been the second one. I can't remember exactly. The whole three episodes was just a big blur of craziness, but I really still did enjoy it. And now looking at the back of the box for All Might, I have seen all of these characters, but not in these suits. So maybe after they get into UA, they will get these suits, because I've definitely seen Tenya, Ochako, Katsuki, Deku, and All Might, just like I said, not in these suits. And if you guys want to see what they look like on the back of the box, there they are right there, and these really do look amazing. And I know that Tenya is kind of expensive, so it's probably going to be a tough one again. 
And now for this one here, Deku Battle, I don't actually know him as Deku yet. I only know him as Izuku, so I feel like maybe after he gets his suit, and I'm just speculating here for me because I've only seen the first three episodes, but maybe after he gets his suit, people start to call him Deku or they give him a nickname. I don't know what it is yet. And also, I do remember when this pop used to be like two to three hundred dollars, and then Funko restocked it a bunch of Hot Topic, so it did go down. And Noah and I have had this for probably about a year or so, so it is a really cool pop that we now have. And I'm trying to think of a couple different characters within the first episodes that I'd want to pick up. Like there is Mount Lady, she was a Hot Topic exclusive exclusive and I really do want to get her eventually but I think she's kind of pricey now and I used to see it all the time and I used to ask Noah and he was like nah I don't really need that one but now that I'm watching these episodes kind of sucks that I didn't get her. Oh, and I do remember running into Present Mike at the end of episode three, so maybe I'll want to pick him up as well. I don't know. I haven't seen any more episodes, but so far I seem to be enjoying him. And if I do see him again in Hot Topic, because he was there before Hot Topic closed due to the pandemic here in Ontario, maybe I'll get him. And now looking at the back of Endeavor's box, I do see a lot of different characters that are in the intro, like Shigaraki, and I don't know how to pronounce this one. Sorry if I, I'm going to butcher this one. Kurogari? Kurogari? Now, once I actually run into them in an episode, I feel like I'll be able to pronounce their name a lot better. But if you guys want to see the back of the box with all eight of these characters right here, there they are. And well, alright everybody, that was the first episode of me watching anime for the first time, and if you just want to see another episode of this, please put different recommendations in the comment section below, preferably ones that have pops so I can actually show you guys some figures at the end of the video. But now, let's spin this thing, and I'm going to try to make it anime related. And if I can't, sorry about that, but let's just see if we get it, because if we get Hot Topic, I definitely can. Toys R Us! I can kind of do it. All right, everybody, so I've got the pop right here, and here's why I'm saying kind of. This one. Now, I know technically this is exclusive to Box Lunch in the U.S., but here in Canada, this one was exclusive to Toys R Us. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's use this one for today. And no, I've never seen Dragon Ball Super. I just thought it was a really cool pop, and I picked it up a long time ago. I don't know why I did, but I still enjoy the figures. And maybe we could watch Dragon Ball in the future for this series. And if you guys would like to see that, please let me know. But this one right here is pretty cool. It is Goku and Vegeta in their baseball uniforms. Now, I don't know too much about them. The only thing that I do know is that they are both in their Super Saiyan form, I believe because they have blue hair. I hope that's right. Ooh, and I have really never taken this thing out of the box, or maybe I should never put them on their bases because the bases are still taped to the bottom here, and I'm guessing they probably don't need it. No, it doesn't seem like they do. But there you go right there, guys. There's both of them out of the box, and they really do look great. I love the hair on these ones, especially because they're both in their baseball uniforms. It's a pretty weird set of figures, but I'm glad that I got them. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you guys Goku, so if you guys want to see him a little bit closer up, there he is right there, and that hair is crazy. And now if you guys want to see the other figures, in this set, there they are on the back of the box right there. And if you guys are wondering when this exact set came out, it was back in 2019. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. She funny with it, funny with it, cool. B54 thump, I'm a hump on a bounce, Jack and Jill up a hill, baby tryna get a meal. Mary had a little lamb, I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man, I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey. let my lashes.